If I look and sound disheveled, it's because today's a sick day for me. I'm supposed to be at work right now, walking with boxes and stuff. But, you know, to my employer, if you're watching this video, nothing personal. I just feel like I have to make another video for this week. Conveniently a day where I have some free time because it is a sick day But I really am sick like you can just tell from my eyes like I'm fucked up <laughs> But I have a couple of videos I have planned one of them is this one where I Gotta talk about the current state of the all right because it is a lot more defined in the past two years than it was in the beginning, like six years ago. And a big reason for that is uh, you don't have things like the NRX or Manosphere or even edgy libertarianism encompassing what we know as all right now. Especially now that the all right is something that has mainstream awareness like people I went to school with know what the alt-right is at least you know who Richard Spencer is I'm not gonna front I didn't know who he was until last year so that just tells you how wide the scope of it is but yeah they wouldn't know who that is until now, until Hillary Clinton said, I normies, do your thing, kill this meme, the way you be killing my memes. But she really do does kill her own memes, though. So, what we know as the alt-right, the standard alt-right is essentially white nationalism, which... In the past, I've had my disagreements with white nationalism. And that also comes into what the alt-light is now. Because three years ago, a bunch of mimetically obnoxious people started latching onto the alt-right and saying, that's me. And they started adding us because they were cool, funny, and edgy. Some of us. I don't know about me. I'm certainly funny, but I don't know about cool. But anyway. And what I noticed about the alt-light is that because they reject white nationalism, they tend to be civic nationalists or even thrown in alter conservatives like what I espouse when I made my blog post, which ended up in TRS, disavowing white nationalism. And that was back when I was thrown in ultra conservatism conservative when I thought that a Catholic theocracy and monarchy and all these other things were going to essentially rebuild Western civilization. I'm not gonna even use terms like that anymore because that ain't me. That's not how I think about things anymore. And it's type of sad because I'm not white nationalist now. I was going to identify with that two years ago or even the early part of 2016. But then I realized that in many ways, that still ain't me now. Ideologically, even though I'm not fully defined yet, I've adopted a lot of mad sock views or views of national socialism and even one view that's fascist in nature. And the latter is more strategical. So I realize now that if I went the evil lion route and made content the way she makes content, and I ended up doing something stupid publicly, like 
slapping the hell out of someone on the street corner for saying, Yo, son, can you lend me a dollar? Let's say one day I hear that line every time I cross the street. Too many times a straw that breaks the camel's back and I slap someone's face. Ends up getting news coverage. People realize, hey, this guy's a meme. And some of my old homies in the alt right would disavow me so quickly, it's not even funny. They'd be like, oh, Mr. Wonka 7? Oh, he's a 20 pound neat, still living in his mom's basement with no hoes, no GF. He probably likes to D on the low. And they would disavow me so quickly. Like, I always thought that guy was lame. He's type funny. But he's not as funny as he thinks he is. He thinks he's a comedian, but he's corny. Straight up corny. I'm just looking for something in the room to wipe my nose with. But as things are in the all right, I definitely feel a lot more passionate about it now. I've distanced myself from being too attached to people who might stab me in the back when things get difficult on my end. But other than that, I'm keeping it booing now because anyone who's of a similar mind to me, I want it all right to be like what it was a couple of years back. Even where I felt like it was, and I know it sounds corny, but it was like a safe place for me to vent my frustrations and have a voice and have people sympathize with it. And while I was a lot softer a dude back then, it was always a place that was opportune for that kind of stuff. Whereas nowadays, I'm not so sure anymore. Like if you notice, I'm starting to grow up now. I'm not dropping N-bombs anymore. I'm still a hood rat, though. But I'm a good hood rat. And hopefully, in the future, as the alt-right continues to get more defined, there'll be a spot for guys like me. Like a third category. Not civic nationalism with some elements of throwing an altar conservatism. Kind of like what you would get with Origin Templar. Well, the latter part. I don't know about the first part. It might be a racial nationalist. Or just straight up the Richard Spencer type of paleoconservative stuff with white nationalism seasoned in well maybe there's going to be a third category for guys like me guys who are more or less Nat Sox light and really I think that'd be really nice I've just been Mr. Wonka 7 and suck my dick